Hello and welcome to The Daily Politics. All that in the next hour and with us for the whole of the programme today are the Conservative MP and Brexiteer Anne-Marie Trevelyan and Labour's Emma Reynolds, who was a firm Remainer and still is, I presume. Welcome to both of you. First of all today, the construction giant Carillion has announced it's going into liquidation. It comes after talks between the firm, its lenders and the government failed to reach a deal to save the company. But what next for the almost 20,000 employees the firm has in the UK and for all the services they're currently providing? Well, earlier, the Cabinet Office Minister, David Liddington, was asked why the government had continued to award contracts to Carillion even after the company issued profit warnings. It's time for our daily quiz and the question for today is which political dining establishment is attempting to win a Michelin star? All the important questions. Is it A, Granita in Islington, the scene of the Blair Brown Pact? B, Maidenhead Spice, a curry house in Theresa May's constituency? C, the House of Commons restaurant? Or D, Archway Kebab, Jeremy Corbyn's favourite falafel joint? <laughs> At the end of the show, Emma and Amory, who I'm sure have eaten in all of those, will give us the correct answer. It's an easy one, I have to say. <laughs> disappointed. Well, you can, sa yeah. you can save it for the end. Yeah. I'm so glad it's easy. Now, can you name all the people who have led UKIP since the referendum? <laughs> no, it's not just another quiz because we may be about to see the fifth. Or is it the seventh leader, depending on how you count them since the EU referendum? Henry Bolton, the current incumbent, is hanging on for now, but calls for the 54-year-old to resign have grown louder since racist messages sent by his 25-year-old girlfriend, Joe Marnie, were published in yesterday's Mail on Sunday. Mr Bolton has said that the romantic side of his relationship with Ms Marnie has now ended, and he defended his position on the Today programme this morning. Now, we've had an election result within the last half an hour. Yes, few news. Um, three candidates have been elected to sit on Labour's National Executive Committee, which is the party's ruling body. The three winning candidates were all backed by the pro-Jeremy Corbyn group Momentum, and it's thought that the balance of power on the NEC has now changed in favour of the left of the party. Now, the government has a target to reduce <coughs> debt migration. That's the difference between the number of people leaving and the number arriving in the UK to less than 100,000 a year. The figure currently stands at 230,000, and yesterday on the Sunday Politics, the new Immigration Minister, Caroline Noakes, was asked whether the government was still committed to that target. Now, perfidious, petulant perhaps, but has Brexit also revealed the British to be pompous? Surely not. Here's German journalist John Jungklausen's soapbox. Vielen Dank. <laughs> Sehr gern. Now, it's already shaping up to be a busy week in Westminster and it's only Monday. Thank you both very much. Go and shelter from the rain. There's just <laughs> time before we go to find out the answer to our quiz. You two, the question was for today is which political dining establishment is attempting to win a Michelin star? Which is it? Parliament. It is. Parliament. Oh, I know you were so desperate to say <laughs> that. And do you think they will actually get it? I have no idea. Is it good enough, do you think? Uh, yes, of course it is. <laughs> <laughs> just testing. That's it.